Okay guys, I'm here to give you my vlog review. I wasn't able to make it yesterday, well I was able to, but I was too tired to make it yesterday. If you didn't read my Facebook com status. Um, so first it shows what happened last week with McMahon and Punk fighting, and I already gave my thoughts out on that. I don't need to do it again. Um, and strangely enough, it started out with a big show promo. Big show promo. Um, that's really how it started. It actually started out with the big show. It never really does. It never starts out really with anything about the world championship, but it did. Um, he pretty much comes out and says that he beat Sheamus in the knockout punch. Sheamus tried to hit him with the broken kick, but failed. Um, and he also says that uh, he wants to erase the forty-five second loss, and he wants to and he calls out. Dan it's kind of like an this is kind of like an open fight that night than that TNA is doing. So he calls out Daniel Bryan, um, and then Daniel Bryan's like, "I'm not going out there." Um, and then he asks Kane if he has his back. Kane says no. Then um, he says no, um, he says no to. No, and then he says no to uh, Truth and Zach. No, Santino Morello and Zach Ryder. They say no. Say no. Says no to uh, Truth, and then he walks out of the lock lo lock room saying no. They have a match. They had a decent match. Big Show ends up winning with the choke slam. Um, and then we get Paul Heyman promo. Um, CM Punk com comes out and he's going to make his decision on who he wants to face. He eventually doesn't show. Um, it, because, um, he, uh, well, he also says that he beats, the, that he beat the hell out of Vince McMahon, that it took two people to throw me in the ring, you just respect me, I destroy you, um, and that's pretty much what happened with the fam last week, um, so then, um, what happens is, uh, Ryback, no, wait, Vince McMahon, he's about to review his opponent. I guess we showed him so much disrespect that he didn't want to. So Vince McMahon comes out and says that he blew it and he's going to pick his opponent. See a punk's opponent. It's either going to be John Cena or Ryback. Um, and they hyped this up all night. Um, and then Raw goes. And then uh, Raw becomes shit for number 8, Team Cobra versus the Prime Time players. That match was shit. Um, the prime time players win. That's what I'm gonna say. Um, we get a we get a Dolph Ziggler promo. Dolph Ziggler comes out and says that uh he should be the one facing Punk at um Hell in a Cell, not Ryback. He uh, had to go through um eight guys in the best money in the bank ladder match ever, so he thinks he should be facing Ryback. Oh, Tucker comes out and says that he should be facing Ryback. So then, well, no, not Ryback. The the WWE champion at Hell in a Cell. Um. Ryback comes up, well, AJ comes out, makes a match between, it makes a handicap match with Dolph Ziggler and uh, David Otunga versus Ryback. Ryback wins. Dolph Ziggler walks out, pins Otunga. Um, we get Vince Mc... Oh, wait, I forgot to say... Oh, I missed some stuff. Okay. Um, uh, so, before the Team Crow Bowl thing happened, I, I, I missed the Layla talks about breast cancer. Um... This was actually made me cry. Layla um, said that uh, her mom had died of breast cancer and she doesn't even know that she's wrestling. Um, then we get Del Rio versus Brodus Clay. Um, Del Rio just beats him with the cross arm breaker. Punk and Heyman are backstage. So they're upset that Punk didn't choose his opponent. Heyman says that this would happen. So then um, Punk tells Heyman to go tell Vince that uh, he wants to fight Vin Vince again tonight. Um... Then we, get, then we get Vince McMahon, and then I, then there's a Team Crow Bowl versus Prime Time Players happens, and the Ziggler promo happens. Then Vince McMahon's backstage on the phone with someone. Heyman comes and says um that Punk wa pretty much says that Punk wants to fight you tonight. Vince says that um um so how about you fight? How about Paul Heyman fights me tonight, and if I win, and uh, if you win, Punk gets to choose his opponent. And for some odd reason, I think the match it didn't it didn't really follow up. I don't know why the hell they said that. Um, then we get AJ and Matt Stryker backstage. Uh, Matt Stryker thinks he should get an apology after what AJ did, after what Kane and Dan and Brian did to him on SmackDown. And he says crazy, and that sets AJ off. And, um, AJ makes him have a match with, uh, Kane. Um, then we get Antonio Cesaro versus Justin Gabriel. Another solid match by Antonio Cesaro. 
I thought it was going to be over when uh, he did a good clothesline to Gabriel, and I thought it was going to be over when Gabriel did the uh, 450 to him, but he got, but he got to the ropes. Uh, he goes to do a flying, I think, cross body, and Tony catches him in a European uppercut. That uppercut that he usually does, and hits him with the neutralizer, and gets the win. What also made this good was the commentary. Um, then we get Matt Stryker versus Kane. Kane, Kane uh, Matt Stryker says that you don't really have to do this. Just we can just apologize and remember what you learned in therapy. They hug it out. Kane eventually Kane just bail hugs him and then choke slams him for the win, um, and says that he's the tag team champions. Then we get the Miz TV with guest Kofi Kinston. They're, talk they're hyping up their match, and Miz says that you will never win the big one, Kofi. You don't have any memorable moments. And it's very thin. Kofi Kinston challenges him to a match tonight, and um, they fight, and they he they agree to have it. Um, and Vince McMahon, then we get Sheamus versus Wade Barrett. They had a good match. Um, Shane's up Sheamus ends up winning with the, uh, by disqualification because Big Show pulls the rope down. And then uh, she she Big Show puts Sheamus back in the win. Sheamus bro kicks Barrett and close lines Big Show outside the win. Um, then we get Eve Torres defending the Divas Championship against Layla. Um, Eve wins because Layla because she throws Layla off the top turn buckle, but she had a foot on the ropes and she takes it off. And then it shows something about the show so. So, I don't remember. I don't really know what this is. I guess you told, donate ten dollars to this, but they're probably just gonna take you ten dollars no matter what, really. Then we get Kane and Daniel Bryan backstage. Um, I should also mention that uh, Kane did save Daniel Bryan from Big Show, so now they're gonna have a match next week. That's really what that was. Then we get Vince McMahon backstage part three. Actually, actually, I forgot to mention that when Vince McMahon's backstage, um, he's backstage twice. I forgot to mention the second time. Um, he, uh, tells John Cena if he's ready. Cena doesn't care. Well, he asked him, and he doesn't, he doesn't really care. He's so fight punk no matter what. Then we get, um, then he's backstage with Ryback, and he says, and he pretty much says that you show no mercy, and, uh, he says, Phoebe Punk. Um, then we get Team Road Scholars versus Primo Nepico. When I was doing this, he'd Slater and Drew McIntyre in a ball, and they try to play music, but they can't. Um, Kofi Kinston versus The Miz. Kofi Kinston, Miz with Trouble in Paradise to the side of the head. Um, and then we get, and Vince McMahon makes its decision, and it's Ryback, and Ryback lays him out. And I'm sorry that this video is a little short, but I don't really, I'm just kind of doing this quick because I don't really have time to get it out that much. Um, I, wanted, I wanted to get it out as fast as I could, but ne my next raw review will be faster. But that's pretty much it, guys. I'm going to review a main event tonight, and that will be faster. That's pretty much it, though. Peace out.